Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another food related video. Okay, now if you recall uh, back in September 2018, what we ended up doing was we put a video together where I was showing you how I end up jarring some mint that I end up basically harvesting during the summer, right? And right now we're in mid-June 2019, right? So we're about, you know, about eight months out or so since we put out that video. So we went through and I showed you how I end up uh, harvesting some of the mint that I hang up to dry and stuff like that. And then in December of 2018, we put out a video in the kitchen where I was showing you you know, some of the recipes that I use the mint for. We made potatoes and we made some yogurt stuff. We made some other things as well, right? And throughout the cooking videos, the live streams that we're doing and other cooking videos that we've done, I've used a lot of mint. So mint is a major ingredient that I end up using in my everyday, really, cooking, right? Maybe just making mint tea or just sprinkling on some dried mint on potatoes, roasted potatoes I'm making or mixing mint in with yogurt or when cooking different types of meats and whatnot. So I thought what we do in this video is take it back a notch and basically go through hanging up the mint to dry. And what I've done is I got my sort of rope string set up here, sort of the same string that I use to, or the same setup anyway, that I use uh, that we had in the previous video when we were jarring the dried mint, right? And since we're in mid-June 2019, what we have right now is spring mint that I've harvested. And spring mint is absolutely brilliant. It's, it's phenomenal. It's like spring nettle. If you're able to harvest some spring nettle, um, you're, you're good to go. Basically, you harvest spring nettle, dry it up, and you can use it for for teas. And that's basically what I'm going to do. And we end up do harvesting uh, nettle as well. But what we're going to do today is hang up these mints that I've picked about uh, four, about four days ago or so, right? So I pick up these mints, harvest them, okay? bring them home, wash them up. And the way I wash them, I put them into a big bowl and I use a few different bowls. There's a fair bit of mint here. A few different bowls, sprinkle on a little bit of salt and fill it up with water and let it sit anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes, right? Because the salt basically kills any of the bugs that might be on there. And then I give the mints a rinse, right? So what I have here, and they smell amazing, okay? What I have here is the mint all washed up and you can see it and what i do is after i wash up the mint i dry them in a little spinner thing and i have these rags these cloths uh, that i basically only use well i only use for uh, putting either uh, mainly usually herbs uh, mint parsley whatever herbs that we're buying and we're drying and we put them in these rags after you give them through the spinner you you know close them up and usually if there isn't that much I you just put the rag with a elastic bound around it in the fridge but if there's a fair bit of it you want to keep the moisture in there so what I end up doing is putting them in plastic bags as well and they keep pretty pretty nice okay so what we're gonna do right now is basically hang up the mint and let it dry and it's gonna take you know it varies on the temperature right now we're getting a heat wave so hopefully they'll dry sooner rather than later okay uh, but usually takes a two to ten days two weeks up to three weeks to dry so what I want to do I want to bring these out okay and let's put these guys here and I want to open this up so you see it and since I've waited four days let me take a look at this some of the mint not that much usually is pretty good I mean you can take a look at this right so it's all bunched up, it's fairly tight. But sometimes if you let it sit too long, the mint goes, whoop, we lost a little bit, whoop, we lost a little bit, there we go. Let me pull this out. So if you let it sit too long, the mint goes black. So we're not gonna dry up these ones. These ones stayed a little bit too wet. So I'm gonna take these black little ends. There isn't too much of it. And, you know, compost these, okay. 
And if we see any more, we'll take them off. But there's a fair, fair bit of mint here to be dried. And it smells amazing, by the way. It's mint, uh, fresh mint is brilliant. The smell of it, dried mint as well when they're cooking it is really good. Okay. And the way I usually end up hanging, uh, arranging these things to hang them, I bring a floss. Okay. So I cut up a little floss. I take the mint, the ends, right? These guys, and I put a whole bunch together and tie it up. Okay. Even the little guys, I mean, this is good. You can dry that sucker up, right? So we end up doing this. Obviously, anything that falls on the ground, you don't hang up. You got to be clean with your work. Right? I don't even know if we have enough rope here to hang up all the mint. Okay, we should. All right, you make a bunch like this. Oop, lost another one. Whatever falls, I end up washing again. It's beautiful, right? Smells absolutely fantastic. Again, this is uh, this is spring mint. Spring mint is is amazing, right? Because it's freshly coming up, and the leaves are, in general, uh, fairly. Uh, they're not very thick. Okay, the fresh mint coming up anyway. So I basically just. Take out a little floss. Boop. Put that guy here. And I wrap it around my stems like this. Take a look. So I take this, I usually put it down. Right? You can do it like this as well. Just wrap it around tight because this is going to dry, right? So when it dries, you don't want the 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 stems to fall because they're going to lose a little bit of uh, volume on them i guess you can call it right so we have this right i mean you can right? get it like that and all i do to hang these i sort of split it in the middle like that and i just hang it from the rope so let's put these guys start off on this end. Okay. Awesome. Hopefully that's still in view. It is. It is. So let's keep on going. And what I have here is um, this is mint, and I also have uh, one of these guys is peppermint. So we're going to hang up the peppermint as well. And both of these I harvested from uh, here. I'm gonna take a little bit of floss out right away. That way we have our floss ready. If I make the bunch a little too thick, right? And I harvested this stuff from my dad's garden. Okay, I went and visited him and he had a whole bunch of mint. And this is something, mint is something that our family has grown for decades like for 40 years uh there hasn't been a place where we've moved to where it didn't have mint in the backyard we all we've always had mint growing because it's one of the staple foods that we end up using i'm gonna take a look at this right <laughs> nice i love harvesting uh, spring and summer when you can harvest your own food and prep your own food uh, first of all because it's healthier right you can uh, you know where the food is coming from uh, like this is as organic as it gets right <laughs> harvested right like four days ago washed like three days ago and uh, it's sort of been sitting in the fridge for a couple of days okay and you do want to make it tight and i just tie it up knots right and 
not only is it healthy, uh, not only is uh, harvesting your own food, as long as you've got a good supply, healthy, it also costs you nothing other than time, really, right? And what are, what are we using as material? A little bit of floss, which is like a couple of pennies, right? And again, I'm just going to open it up. Give it a nice gap and just let it sit like that, right? So let's do this. I might be making these a little bit too thick, right? Uh, and the reason for that is, is this is just one bunch and we've got a, two more bunches to go through. This was the thickest one. So we should be able to fit it all in. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to fit it all in. I might make the next few bundles a little bit less thick so they dry faster, right? And if we start running out of uh, rope string here to hang them up, I'll make the last few thicker. Right. And this is uh, when you're hanging these things, you usually want to hang them in a place where there isn't too much traffic because once these start drying uh, if you have you know you're bumping into them and stuff you're gonna start losing the leaves it's gonna start falling and stuff so you don't want to do that you want to sort of leave it alone and just harvest uh, when it's all nice and dry right And this is something uh, in spring and summer that I end up doing is uh, foraging for food, picking berries, making jam, uh, picking mint, drying greens, uh, everything and anything related to veggies anyway. Beautiful mint. Fresh mint. The smell is phenomenal. So let's open this up and hang this guy too. I should have brought over the jars of mint uh, just to show you what it looks like after it's been drying. But if you want, you can take a look at the video that we had. Here's another little bit of black. I'm just going to take that off. Road here. Here's another one. Because uh, we ended up making, I believe, about six jars of dried mint, the big jars. And that was in September, fall of 2018. And we're down to the last jar and a bit. So basically, in about eight months, what is it, September, October? October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. So in nine months, we went through uh, all the jars except one. So I end up using a fair bit of mint in, uh, in prepping food because it's phenomenal. Really good for the tummy, mint is. That's thick enough. I don't think we'll run out of space. And then if we get the opportunity, when the time comes, when we're ready to jar these, maybe we'll do another jarring video. We'll see. I'll see if we don't have too many other videos lined up to do right. make a space right. beautiful beautiful delicious and you can eat these right A 
And for those of you who are curious, these are the, let's get another bit of floss ready. These are some of the Silver Age Romance comics that I had up previously in the previous video that you saw. And uh, we put out a video uh, a while ago where I showed you guys uh, the comic books that I was publishing back in the early 1990s uh, as a comic book publisher. And those are the comic books that you see up here. All the ones that you see up here. Uh, there's 14 comic books up there, I think. There's seven, 10, uh, four, seven, 10. There's 13 comic books up there. Um, there's one that I haven't found. Uh, I should have copies somewhere. And, uh, and there's another one that was a trade paperback that we ended up publishing. So there's a total of like 15 comic books that I ended up publishing in the early 1990s. And uh, that was an amazing experience. And those comic books that you see up there, they're the comic books that I published. I was a publisher. The artists were from uh, different parts of Canada and the United States. The one, wow, we'll talk about, we've talked about these a little bit in the past in a couple of videos, two or three videos we've put out. But at some point, uh, I'll sh we'll do readings for them and take a look at them and I'll give you more info about them. Right. But today, we hang up mint to dry. Right. Let's, let's hang this up. And you want to leave space between them as well because you want airflow. Right? You don't want to too compact uh, that way you know it won't dry as quickly anyway so you do want to dry them give enough space between them Roasted potatoes with mint in there, dried mint just sprinkled on top and roast them together with a little bit of rosemary too. Super delicious. And we've made uh, roasted potatoes like that, right? Nice, nice. We've got some randoms here. It's just absolutely uh, brilliant harvesting your own food, right? We got some randoms here. Let's eat the random mint. Yeah. Bring the next. Actually, I can just leave this like that. Oh, no, it's okay. I'll roll this up. And then after I'm done with these, check out the greens. All I do is I go to the kitchen and just shake it out in the sink and just hang it to dry because you do want it to be dry. It's a little damp because of the, um, the mint being there, All right? And then you can just use them again. You can put them away after that. You don't have to wash them every time, right? really good that's a fair bit nice look at that more mint we might take up the whole thing i think we will 
right? This room is gonna smell amazing. The aroma in this room is gonna be phenomenal because of the mint drying, right? And you can dry other herbs this way as well. Other greens, right? <laughs> Maybe nettle or other herbs. gift to people take people some a jar of dried mint as a present like I don't really buy presents I don't go shopping if I'm gonna give presents to people it's food usually or comic books space I'm just gonna shuffle things around a little bit nicely dried because you want the stems to crack right the leaves dry faster than the stems but you do need the stems to dry if you're gonna if you're gonna harvest the stems as well which I do right if you're just gonna harvest the leaves you can just hang them up and once the leaves are dry you can harvest the leaves and then you can harvest the stems afterwards if you want but that's a lot of work I usually keep them up until the stems crack when you fold them and by that time the leaves are totally dry I don't use all the stems but in the teas I just like taking a few stems of these and just you know I would take them fresh you can make fresh mint tea as well right like you can just take this put in your teapot and you have fresh mint tea, right? Open it up a little bit. And once it starts drying, you'll lose a little bit when it falls down and stuff. So not that much, as long as you're not moving around in the area within this vicinity too much, you're not gonna lose too many to the ground that are just falling off, right? Look at this one, where's the thick part of it? Mint is funny. Look at this one, <laughs> it's a double, right? See, that's where I cut it. I'd harvested it from um, the garden earlier as well. So some of these where you see, when you see, uh, plant splitting like this I had already cut this off I was harvesting a little bit earlier right but then once you mint really likes being cut down right you cut it down it splits almost any plant that splits again right so you get more so it's sort of exponential growth so initially when we got a little bit I harvested a little bit and then let it grow a little bit more and I came back and took down a lot so we can dry it Right. When I hang up, hang up the rope here, make the space 
to dry mint. I like to dry a fair bit in one shot. That way we're set up. We got a supply for a few months and definitely we'll harvest again um, towards the end of the summer because you do want mint comes back every year uh, and since I use it all year round I don't want to run out of mint and in the stores you buy mint it's very expensive well I don't know very expensive it is expensive like especially organic mint and it's just a weed that grows like mad right so if I can grow it, you become, you know, being frugal is a good idea. Manage your budget. What we save on harvesting mint, right? We spend on comic books maybe, right? Or other foods that we can't harvest or grow. smell amazing and for those of you who are concerned about the lighting um, the light natural light doing damage to the comic books I have all of these comic books in mylar right so it does protect from UV I know not completely but it does protect from UV. I've had these up for a while. I've had a lot of comic books up for a while on my walls over the years and they retain their color quite well. So the damage is not too traumatic. And these aren't, these ones anyway, they're not, you know, 9.8 grade or that level. So and the comic books I published, uh, even though I'm down to not very many of them over the years, over the last 30 years of doing, since I've published them, uh, I do have a handful of copies of each, so, and having them up makes me happy. And that is part of collecting, uh, showcase, showcasing this stuff, right? Nice, beautiful mint. Saying this, <laughs> and have some uh, a green tea here that I'm drinking. Green tea is really good. This should make one more bunch. do put mint uh, not always but uh, a lot of time in the cuckoo and we've put out a couple of cuckoo videos <laughs> we're making uh, Persian cuckoo with a green the sort of the herb dish that we make All right. let's put this up too nice I've got a little room for the peppermint right Here's some more randoms. Let's eat the randoms. Close this up. Nice. 
Now this is peppermint. It smells spicier. This makes amazing tea as well. Here, I'm sure the difference in the leaves. Not much different, right? The stems are different. So this is the peppermint and this is the mint. Right? Let's eat these guys. The stem on the peppermint it's a little darker, okay? Super delicious. Be careful eating greens, sometimes they they're a choking hazard, right? So talking and eating greens, sometimes you get a little bit of <clears throat> going on. Look at the stem. It's like thick. Oh, we lost one. This up tightly enough. Yeah, we lost one. That one I'm gonna rewash, and we'll just eat those fresh. So tie them tight. peppermint let's pick up these guys it's this one that fell down so this one hasn't fallen down this one I'm gonna put over here because I'm gonna rewash this because it fell on the ground of course right yeah, let's put it like this and good and we're just gonna eat those fresh this one came loose. Take a look. Here, we'll eat these ones fresh too. They didn't fall down, but we'll give it a wash. Let's put that there. So we have more space. We're going to move things over a little bit. Here, here, here. And a little further down. Actually, let's put a little gap so we know which ones. The mint and the peppermint. Do we have enough space? We should. We should. Maybe I'll make it tight. Just from the smell, you can tell what's peppermint and mint. And from the looks of it as well. But when they dry, they, you know, they look very similar. Yes. Give it a little shake. 
nice. Little guys, look at this. Little guys. Yeah, we'll put these over here. We'll eat those. Wash those later. And then give them a spin. Cool. We got the room for two more, basically. And we're going to make two more here. A while ago, someone asked me if uh, I would start sharing some videos on how uh, I end up, uh, you know, prepping for the winter with food-wise and stuff. And this is part of it, right? This is part of it. One more bunch to make bundle, I guess. Where's the bunches? We have some peppermint growing in our yard as well, so. Once this batch is done, I might harvest some more uh, peppermint from our yard. over so we can make the separation right so we got four bundles of peppermint and we got one two three four five actually let's count that again one two three four five six seven nine ten bundles of mint okay that's how i hang up the mint to dry we've got the video out where we harvested the dried mint previously from september 2018 we have a video out where I showed you the type of, you know, dishes that I end up using the mint for. And there's a lot more than what's in that video as well. Okay. And uh, for sure, I'm pretty sure over the summer, we're going to tackle some more uh, food related videos, maybe in the kitchen, doing some cooks or harvesting food and prepping it for the winter or making jam or pastries or whatever it might be okay aside from that i hope uh, you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next video bye for now nice and more random